taking you back to 7.55 a.m. December 7th, 1941. It was a peaceful Sunday morning over 80 years ago at Pearl Harbor and Hickam Field on the Hawaiian island of Oahu. Our entire naval base has awakened with most of the fleet anchored peacefully within the confines of the harbor. The Imperial Japanese Navy approaches, sends the first wave of water Oh! 
smoke is on the fire. One of the engines is on fire. You can imagine what it must have been like with those B-17s arriving unarmed. A bomb stabbed the Arizona through her forward magazines and exploded, touching off more than a million pounds of gunpowder. A sailor on the Nevada watched the Arizona jump up at least 15 to 20 feet in water and could break in two. Forever in traffic, 1,200 American servicemen in an underwater field. This ship sank in less than three minutes and remains at the bottom of Pearl Harbor to this day. It has few testimony to this devastating attack. Yes, this is Tora. Tora, Tora, the surprise Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor. We've taken you back to that fateful day of December 7th, 1941. At Marine Corps Air Station Iwa, BSC Melvin Thompson was on guard duty when 9 0 attacked the base. This is the easy we're doing right now. Thompson stepped out of his guard ship. Shiga saw Thompson firing back. Years later, Shiga remembered Thompson's tenacity and fighting spirit, describing the Lone Marine as the bravest American I have ever seen. All over the island, soldiers were bringing their weapons to bear in the fight. Didn't think they could get working. 45 caliber pistols, great deal rifles. Some came in. Aircraft carriers, battleships, and cruisers 
of the Pearl Harbor Task Force. Nagasaki, the city where the special armor-busting bombs were made, was destroyed by a U.S. atomic bomb on August 9th of 1945. Would you please join me in a moment of silence in memory of all those who lost their lives